Hey guys, this is Jared with Lightshine 3D Services. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. I'm pretty close to one of my printers is running right now, so um, I'll try to speak clearly and loud, loud enough. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you how I set up my uh, ornaments for engraving. Um, as far as doing the artwork compensation, I want to show you how my little calculator that I created in Excel uh, works. And um, I just wanted to show you how I'd take like a simple logo and size it perfectly for the ornament. So what I've done is I've pulled in a logo here. Um, in this case, I'm going to shrink it down quite a bit and I'm going to center it on one of these sizes of ornaments. Now these all represent the most commonly uh, used sizes. If you can find the 2.625, these work great. They're a nice size, they're cheap, and they're usually readily available. Um, I've got them at Walmart and Hobby Lobby so far and they've worked perfect with the jig. So what I would do, let me zoom in a little bit, I would make this as big as I would want it to appear on the ornament. So you're, you're, all you're thinking right now is just visually how, how you want it to appear. Um, so what I would do is shrink it down to a size that you think is pretty nice. Keep in mind, since this is a curve, you don't have um, a huge area of, of focus that you, can, that you can engrave right here. Um, I found that if you stay within about an, an inch to an inch and a half tall, um, you're probably gonna be able to engrave most of that with no problem. Um, we won't lose focus so much that it'll hurt the, the logo. Um, so visually, this would look pretty good. I could maybe go a little bit smaller than that. Um, it should be down just a hair more. Okay, so here's the trick. When you select your artwork, we need to look at the object size up here in the top left. Now, right now I've got this locked, so if I scale one number, the other one scales with it. So what I'm going to do is unlock that artwork size, and I want to pay attention to this number right here. That's the width, so the 1.653. That's how I want it to appear, 1.653. So what I'm going to do is go to my calculator here, and for my desired graphics width, Come down here to the, I'm using the two inch, in this case I'm using the two inch PVC pipe. So I'm going to go to this one, which is the 2.625, and for my desired width, I'm going to put in that number that I saw here. So the 1.653. So come here, I'm just going to type in 1.653. And as soon as I click off of that, you can see it adjusts this number here. That's the adjusted graphic size. So I'm going to put in that 1.72 as my new dimension. So all I do is come to that top number here. I've already got it unlocked. I'm going to put in 1.72. Enter. And now that just stretched it a little bit. Now the smaller ornament sizes that you go, the more that it will either stretch it or shrink it, um, depending on uh, its, its relationship to the size of the ornament compared to the jig itself. But anyway, if you take this now, bring it down, and I always like to make my ornaments about either 40 or 30 percent black. I'm going to center it, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, and now I'm ready to engrave that. And if I was to actually measure the the distance on the engraved ornament from the edge of the graphic to the edge of the graphic, it's going to come out exactly to the number that I desired it to be and it's going to look visually correct. Um, it, it, it takes care of the scaling and the, the compensation for you. Um, hopefully this helps. I'm going to make this template available. Um, my calculator is already available uh, both on my website and on I know at least on the epilogue uh, files um, from the uh, epilogue Facebook group. So anyway if you have any questions comments uh, let me know.